Hey, so questions on how to trace and mask something from a group member. And I wanted to address this for you guys. It's pretty simple to do. I know I say simple, um, but it's really just adding a couple of different steps that we already know how to do in Lightburn. So the first thing we want to do is we want to trace this image. So what the client is looking to do is have one of these engraved on the exterior portion of this pistol, not on the barrel itself. So what I'm going to do here is scroll in. I'm going to do a real quick trace. We know how to trace. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit trace image. That's going to give me this funky trace. One of the things we want to do here is we do want to do a sketch trace because we are looking to have, you know, more of this exterior portion trace than this interior portion. So when we do a sketch trace, it's going to pick up more color variants than it does if we do just a transparency trace or a regular trace. Um, I'm also going to ignore less than 100 pixels because I'm not going to want to get all of this in here. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to bring my threshold down until I've got a decent little outline around this little pistol. And to me, that looks pretty good. I might bump it just a couple more. Um, I might smooth it out to like 1.3. And to me, this looks like it gets kind of where I want it to go. I'm going to do a little more when I get out of the trace image function to smooth that out. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to move this. I've got all of this stuff traced. I really don't need all of this. I'm going to ungroup everything, delete the unnecessary outlines. And I'm just selecting and hitting my delete key. That's all I'm doing to delete. And I'm going to pull this up here, scroll in, and look at all of the pieces that I don't need. Um, again, we do not want it to engrave on this part here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a really quick, just a square. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to turn that red so I can see it. And I'm going to grab the outside of my pistol image, and I am going to do a really small offset. What this is gonna do is just make sure that my lines are connected. You can see here, it's only a 0 0.02 offset. I'm gonna hit okay, and I'm gonna pull just the offset line and the square out. So those are really the only pieces that I need, right? This is the only part that I want to engrave. And I can delete this just to make sure my program is running fast. I'm going to put this over the top. <clears throat> and line, just make sure it lines up the way I want it to. Make a couple of quick adjustments. So that this is kind of inside here. All right. So now I have the base of what I want to mask and engrave. If I were to let me do this really quickly, just leave it like it is and anything. So if I just grab this and this, right click and apply mask, it's going to apply to the inside of this image as well, to the inside of the square. Undo that. I just grab the square and I place the mask, apply mask. It's just going to do the inside of the square. So what I want to do is I want to make this a compound shape. If you've used Inkscape or used Illustrator, we know that a compound shape can have a, this can be a full shape with a hole in the middle of it. So in order to do that, I'm also going to make sure that these both are on the same layer. So I'm going to turn them both red. Once I've got that, group them together, apply layer mask, and now it's just masked everything but this box. 
So that's the key is to make sure that these two are on the same layer, both outlines, and that they are grouped together. And once you've done that, you can then go in and hit flatten image mask. And it's going to take out the lines and just give you the image. Some people like to work this way, works good for some, not for others. The reason behind it is if I don't and I go to move this, I'm just moving this box and now I've got to select this whole thing to move it where I want it to move. If I go ahead and get rid of this by creating a flattened image, then when I move it, I'm moving just what I want to move. Hope that makes sense. Hope that helps. Talk to you guys soon.